main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and the same reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Robin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red crowd. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 27 wins, 7 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Body out of Zagreb, Croatia, Mirko Boha! Okay, could take yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back. This is floor. a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Here is the UFC middleweight champion, Robert Whittaker, who is fond of saying there is no better place in the world to break your hand then inside the octagon, and ideally he will do that on his opponent's face here tonight. Whitaker gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. All right, so here we go with round one, and you gotta be mindful of those overhand punches if you're his opponent. You know it's a big part of his game plan every time out. It's his go-to punch. Oh! He's trying to stay up. Oh, he's gone for it here. Big left. Leg kick. Lifts on the elbow. Oh, a huge block there. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Beautiful jab. Jabs off the left and jabs off the right. How about that chin? Joe, nice head movement there. Slip that right hand. Oh, hook to the head by Robert Whittaker. And he counters and lands a huge right hand to the body. Oh! Lands a nice one, too. What a wild exchange! That's nice a hard hook. Lands. What a jab. Knee to the body. Body kick, look at that. Oh, huge block! Oh! <laughs> he got hurt very, very bad. Oh, he might be out. He hurt him again! Big Dude, power in that hook. Oh, very nice. Straight right hand now just misses. <laughs> Punch coming, it's blocked. Doing an excellent job blocking here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Krokop. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Whitaker. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. Oh, nice. 
Side leg kick. Oh! He's in big trouble. Final seconds of round one. Big shots. Body kick, look at that. Right. Round two next. Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. All right, second round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Prokop is simply a devastating striker. He has huge power in his punches. Oh, he's hurt! He's hurt! He's got him hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Hard jab. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Here it is one more time. Boom. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 53 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Mirko so Mirko Krokop still getting it done and still getting it done with style points. A lot of people wondered how would he handle this type of matchup. He handled it with flying colors here tonight. And Mirko Krokop still very much a relevant contender in one of the UFC's deepest divisions.